Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This video is definitely an exciting one because it is the release of the Serenity Executor. Um, the Serenity Executor has been in development for about five to six months now. However, it is now ready to be released. I did work with the Delta team, the people that have made the Delta Executor um, on this project as well. And Delta Executor is also a great, a great executor. You should definitely try it out if you haven't already. I've got some videos up on the channel for that as well um the serenity executor of course it is a new executor um so of course there will be many updates many new features many improvements along the way so make sure to join us for the journey uh if you have any suggestions any improvements that you, you think we could make uh then make sure to leave a comment down below of that as well um or you can join our discord server the link will be in the description below where you can also reach out to me much easily um the executor only works on windows 10 and 11 as of right now However, there may be changes made in the future, but as of right now, it does not work on Windows 7, 8, Mac or iOS and Android devices. So the very first thing that you need to do, in, and of course you should be familiar with this if you have used executors in the past, is going over to the start button to go into your virus and threat protection. Now on Windows 10, it's going to be right here, or sorry, on Windows 11, it's going to be right here in the middle. And on Windows 10, it's going to be in the bottom left corner. Just go ahead and click that and search for virus and threat protection open that up and you should see your page similar to this now if you do get a little alert at the top that says that your antivirus is managed by another organization then you need to find your antivirus in this list over here or you can go into your control panel and uninstall it but you need to basically disable your antivirus for now um, so you can download the executor you will be able to turn it on eventually but for now it needs to be disabled um, now if your page does look similar to mine then you don't need to worry about that all you need to do is go into manage settings and turn off real-time protection just go ahead and click that it will give you a little pop-up just go ahead and click on yes and that will disable the antivirus you will be able to turn this back on in a little while however for now this is really important that you turn it off up next just go ahead and close out of this for now and you want to go into the first link in the description which will be the download link for the serenity executor for now, the Serenity Executor is not on the website. However, by the time the video is out, it will be on there. So you just want to go to the link and you want to click the first link on that website. If it does open up an ad like this, as you can see, all you want to do is click this and it will open up a little pop up. Now you want to wait for 25 seconds for this pop up. As you can see, it's counting down 22, 21, 20. So I'll be back as soon as it reaches just a couple of seconds all right so here we go it's just counting down now we can close out of this little pop-up right here and it has taken us to the next page um on this page if you don't see the work.ink icon right here and you see some other page just close out of it and click this link again and it should bring you to the work.ink page okay uh if it does open up another ad just go ahead and complete the ad um it does take a couple of seconds the first time i think it takes about 10 seconds 20 seconds then it can take up to a minute if you do it again um but yeah once you do have that completed and you are over on the download page it will give you a few th steps to do at the bottom it might be one step or two steps just go ahead and do that for me it says install browser add-on so just go ahead and click that it does open up an ad so i'm just going to close that and click it again this time it says go to the chrome store so let's click that all right so right here we've got the option to add to our chrome um browser now if you're not on chrome and you don't get this option just make sure you're using the chrome browser um and yeah so just go ahead and add it to your exclusions or to your extensions here we go and it has been added if we go back you can see the step has been completed if it doesn't get completed then just go into your add-on just to remove it by removing the extension here we go and do the step again and it should let you continue so let's click on continue it does give me a little um pop up so we close that and we click it again and here we go so we just scroll down on this page where it says read one article below and we click on go to destination it's going to give a countdown of 10 seconds and we'll, we will be able to continue to the next step all right here we go so when you do click continue um it's going to give you another countdown this time for around 10 15 seconds and after that you will be ready to download the executor so here we go just finishing off now perfect and proceed to target there is another ad we click it again there is another ad so close that and there is another ad so three ads you usually get around three ads and then you can click proceed to target 
and it does give us a download for me i'm going to download download it to my desktop so let's choose desktop and choose save once you do that and you go over to your downloaded location if it's not there as you can see it hasn't actually downloaded you need to go back to your browser hold down control and press j that will take you to your downloads click on keep dangerous file click on keep anyway you can also go to your downloads folder by clicking on this and clicking on downloads um, but once you do that and you've got the download ready you can go ahead and open the serenity executor make sure you've also got your antivirus off uh, as of right now so just go ahead and double click the bootstrapper click on more information click on run anyway and that will start downloading the files for the serenity executor for you and it also unzip them um, so once you do download it it will take you to my youtube page if you're not already subscribed make sure you do and then you can close out of this let's go back over here it will open up the serenity executor let's close it for now and just go ahead and delete the bootstrapper file for now and go into control or not control panel let's go back into virus and threat protection um go into manage settings again now if you were using another antivirus it's going to be similar steps you need to find your exclusions okay so if you're using this just go scroll down into exclusions click on add or remove exclusion click on add and folder uh click on folder and then choose wherever you have your serenity folder created so when you do launch the bootstrapper that i launched which was over here it will create a new folder for you so just find where that folder is single click it make sure you don't double click and open it just single click it where it's highlighted click on select folder and it will get added to your exclusions now you can go back and turn on your real-time protection if you would like and you're ready to use the executor so let's go ahead and open this up and launch it when you do launch it it will take you to the website again uh to youtube you can close out of that um looking at the folder you do have auto execute you've also got the scripts folder to add your own scripts um and of course you've got the executor itself let's close out of that and the very first thing you need to do is click on get key the key will last for up to 12 hours and then you will be able to get a new key so let's go ahead and again complete the same step again so click that and then there we go do that again add to brave checking here we go so the exact same step that we did at the first time scroll down click on go to destination There we go just a couple of seconds perfect go to destination and over here we just need to wait a couple of seconds as well and then we will be able to get the key now there's a lot of questions normally how do you get the key what is the key um this is how you get your key this you have to do again after 12 to 24 hours and you'll be able to get a new key um and yeah that's how you get the key so proceed to target it has opened up an ad so we close it open up another one do the same thing again and the fourth time we will be able to get our key so we just click on copy key it has been copied go back to our executor right click in the search box click on paste or you can also do Control v and now we can do continue there we go now we've got the executor let's get into the showcase all right now when it comes to the executor um it has many different options i will go through all of them before we get into the actual sh showcase in the actual game um so of course you've got the little scripts tab over here you can just paste your own scripts um, you can also have multiple scripts or multiple different tabs for the scripts uh, you've also got the little readme text so this is for the scripts folder any script that you add to your little scripts folder over here it will show up in here so you can just click it and quickly select it and you don't have to manually paste it in here um, now you also got the topmost option it's a useful option to have um, it's usually to keep the executor at the top so as you can see if i drag any file on top of it it will still stay on top but if i turn it off now it stays in the background you've also got the opacity it's a little bit of a blur effect which looks pretty clean you've also got the kill roblox so if for any reason your roblox gets frozen or it's not working it's stuck you can simply click the click uh, kill roblox button and it will completely close roblox and you will be able to open it again so for me i can just click it and there we go it has now killed the process and we can click ok you've also got auto attach uh, or inject which you should know what that is if you have used executors in the past but it simply means that you don't have to click the manual inject button each time and you also got the option to disable injection status which i will show you what that is in just a moment now you can also click this button to go to my website and find new scripts and executors uh, of course if you also hover over these buttons it does show you what it does which is pretty cool you can go back to home by clicking the home icon 
and you've also got the little scripts tab so if i go over here and i search for any script usually people struggle with finding new scripts for games so this is a very useful tab you can just search for any game and it gives you a bunch of scripts so i search for jailbreak it's given us a lot of scripts here which we can scroll through and it gives you the game name as well so this is specifically for jailbreak however this one is a universal script so this one can be used um, in multiple games and then you just click the inject button and it will in execute the script of course we can't do that as of right now we need to go into a game first so let me go ahead and jump into a game i will show you how to inject the executor and of course we will go ahead and see how it works all right so here we go jumping into front lines on roblox uh the very first thing that you, you need to do whenever you go into any roblox game is click this little icon right here which is the inject button when you click that it will open up two ads just go ahead and close out of those and let this inject into roblox so you can see the little injection status which you saw kind of fill up that is the injection status bar if you don't like it you can disable it from here i personally do like it um, so i would leave it on now if you do have your own script for the game that you are playing you can paste the script in here and you can click this execute button and it will execute the script um, in my case, I don't have any frontline scripts, so I will go ahead and search for some frontline scripts. Here we go, search, and we've got a bunch of different scripts again. First, I will try out this little ESP, so let's go into the game. If for any reason any script does not work, um, it just simply means it might be patched or it might not be supported, so you can try out another script. So I've just tried out this ESP, and you can see it works perfectly. I can see my teammates, and I can also see the enemies right there. Um, oh wow, this gun's got a lot of recoil. I'm, I'm very used to Phantom Forces, so um, I didn't really expect that. But yeah, that's that. And then let's also try something else. Let's also try the Unfair Hug. Let's see what that is. Here we go. So it has just loaded. I also just died. Um, oh, so this is a hitbox expander. So let's enable that. And let's go back. This should help a lot with the actual recoil as well. So we see an enemy right there and we can hit them. So this is a hitbox expander. You can see the body is a lot bigger. So the red area, the little red circle you see around them, I can shoot anywhere and it will still hit them. So again, there we go. Another kill, another kill. We need to quickly reload. We're getting shot at. Okay, they all died and... Oh, I had an enemy right behind me. I did not see that. Let's go back in. Um, I'm kind of... I'm not that good at, at these games anymore. I'll be honest, I used to be really good at Phantom Forces, but that's because I used to play it a lot. Um, here we go. So again, you can just hit the, the red area. That's my teammate. He's not going to end up dying. And you could see he was behind the wall, but because I was shooting the hitbox, um, it was still giving me the hit marker. So let's try a little bit more. There is an enemy right there. So let's kill him. There we go. Um, it's that reload time. It's, it's a little too slow. Here we go. Another enemy quickly downed. I will be able to get the hang of this game again uh, after I play a, a game or two. I haven't been on this forever. Here we go. We did manage to kill him, but we ended up dying. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the executor, guys. It, it is pretty simple. Um, if you do have any suggestions, any, any sort of things that you think could be improved, then make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the executor, what your first impressions are. Um, and a very nice way to talk to me if you want to have any conversations or anything is to join our discord server the link will be in the description below as i said and you can leave me a direct message on discord and i will get back to you whenever i am available so if you have any executors any scripts uh, that you'd like showcased or you want to share anything with me then of course feel free to do that we did end up losing the game but i think i did join a little bit late uh, and i wasn't really concentrating so that's my excuse but <laughs> yeah that's that's it for the for the video guys hopefully you did enjoy um if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching